study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below there are two square fields of different size such that larger one is surrounding smaller field four gates are there for each field in the middle of the sides eight people a b c d e f g and h are standing at different gates but not necessary in the same sequence the persons who are on the sides of larger park facing center and the persons who are at the side of smaller park facing outside such that inner side persons and outside outer side persons are facing each other so i think we got to understand the description clearly before we move on to the close right he says there are two square fields right there are two square fields of different size and the larger one is surrounding the smaller one larger one is surrounding the smaller one so how would it look like i mean if i, uh, I have very limited space here but if i have to draw here let's say this is the um, we do it do it yeah let's say this is the larger field this is larger one which is surrounding the smaller one there is a smaller field inside this okay so one smaller square field outside that there is another square field the larger one is surrounding the smaller one now four gates are there for each field in the middle of the sides so for each field there are four gates in the middle of the sides so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 these are the eight gates and obviously eight people are there eight people a b c d e f g h who are standing at different gates but not necessarily in the same sequence so eight gates four gates on the inner field four gates on the outer field all the gates are in the middle of the sides and eight persons are standing on each of these gates but not in that sequence now the persons who are on sides of larger park face the center so larger park guys are facing center and the persons who are on the sides of the smaller park are facing outside so these guys are facing outside you know outward facing guys all these four and these are inward facing guys you know they are facing the center so basically what happens if you see all the person i mean at every gate there are persons who are facing each other these two persons are facing each other these two persons are facing each other and these two persons are facing each other okay that's it so now are to arrange the eight persons but only two, three or four statements have been given so let's look at these three or four statements there is one person standing between b and d and there is one person standing between b and d now the biggest confusion we have is out of these eight persons which four are on the outer circle and which four are on the inner circle circle or square whatever it is right which of the four persons are occupying the gates of the outer field which four persons are occupying the gates of the inner field that's what we need to have clarity on so when he says there is one person standing between b and d it's very simple to mark i mean let's say b and d are on an inner uh, square they will be alternate because one person either sides you will find one person between b and d if they are on the outer circle uh, square field also they will be alternate but the question is where are b and d are they in the inner circle or out, uh, outer circle i am using the word circle because of habit out of habit but it is square basically so there is one person standing between b and d now we don't know uh, b and d belongs to which square field inner square field or the outer square field however one clarity that you must get here is that b and d are on the same side i mean same side meaning on the same square field because he's talking about one person between b and d there is one person between a and b so i am trying to make two groups group 1 and group 2 so one of the groups is inner guys the other group is outer guys now which we don't know which group is inner and outer but then clearly b and d are in the same group b and d are in the same group c faces b so depending on where b comes c would come on the opposite side so if b is in the inner field c will come on the outer field if b is in the outer field c would come in the inner field so clearly c is in the other group c cannot be in the group of b and d right c faces b he says so c cannot be in this group c has to be in the other group so c is in the second group a is to the immediate right of c now see he is saying that a is on the right of c you can be on the right of c only when you are in the same group so i can say a is in the same group as c is so we are trying to group the persons basically now g is not the immediate neighbor of d this is a very important point g is not the immediate neighbor of d now the question is to which group does g belong see for example let's assume b and d are in the outer group b and d are in the outer group what happens we know that there is one person between b and d there is one person standing between b and d so if b and d are in the outer group what happens let's say b comes here and d would come here this is just an example b comes here and d comes here he says g is not the immediate neighbor of d which means g cannot come in this position and g cannot come in this position g cannot be a neighbor of d so g cannot come here and g cannot come here so obviously g has to go in the inner circle similarly if you assume that b and d are not in the outer circle b and d are in the inner circle so b and d come here 
but g can either come this side or that side so g has to go on the other group so i can now confirm that g is not in the group of b and d g is in the group of a and c because g cannot be a neighbor of d g cannot be a neighbor of d yeah so grouping is done i think lastly it is done look at the next point g faces neither d nor f g faces neither d nor f so g neither faces d nor f so i'm sure that f also is in the other group see g is not facing d and g is not facing f so f has to be in the other group right it cannot be in the group of g one person standing between h and f one person is standing between h and f now between h and f there is one person so clearly h and f are also on the same side in the same group so h and f have to be in the same group e is facing the center and obviously e will be in the other group you getting it so bd fh is one group bd fh is one group and cag is the other group right also the last point tells that e is facing the center see we have found that e is, h is in this group so obviously e is left out e has to become in this group now e is facing center if e is facing center obviously these four persons are center facing persons because they are in the same group right and these are outward facing persons done i think half of the problem is done or more than half, half of the problem is done once you have done the grouping so outward guides are bd fh inward inward uh, in a sorry not outward uh, outward facing guides are bd fh center facing guides are cag which means see if they are facing center means what they are in the outer field larger field and they are in the smaller field because those who are in the smaller field are facing outwards you see smaller field guys are facing outwards larger field guys are facing inwards right so let's now uh, so I, i didn't say they are outward field i am saying they are facing outwards they are facing center they are in the smaller field they are in the larger field be be careful right outward facing guys are in the smaller field center facing guys are in the larger field now start with the first point there is one person between b and d there is one person between b and d now b and d are in the smaller field b and d are in the smaller field right b and d are in the smaller field so in the smaller field put b and d there is one person between b and d right so let's assume this is b and this is d there is one person between b and d so one person between e and d either side if you see there is one person between b and d so that's done c faces b c is facing b so if b is here c would come here because c is facing b again understand b is facing outwards c is facing inwards b is facing outwards c faces inwards C faces B. Done. So B D have been marked. C have been marked. Done. A is to the immediate right of C. A is to the immediate right of C. Understand? C is facing center. C is facing center, right? When you are facing center, right should be anti-clockwise. When a person is facing center, right is anti-clockwise. So A is on the immediate right of C. So anti-clockwise direction, immediate right of C will be this. So this is A. A is also marked. So four persons have been marked already. Four more are left out. G is not the immediate neighbor of D. C G is not the neighbor of D. that's what i was trying to explain right g is not the neighbor of d means what g cannot come in these two positions in the inner circle so g has to be in the outer circle yeah uh, anyway g faces neither d nor f now try and observe g is in the outer circle clearly g is in the i mean larger field g is in the larger field now in the larger field only two positions are left out the top one and the right one this one and this one we know that g faces neither d nor f g does not face d g cannot come here because if g comes here g would be facing d but the point made here is g does not face d if g does not face d g has to come here that's the only choice left out for g so g is also marked only person left out is e so e has to come here one person is standing between h and f one person is standing between h and f so obviously h and f are in the inner circle inner square but is it h or an f or f and h is the question how do we decide that see go back to the previous point g faces neither d nor f f cannot come here f cannot come in this position because g does not face f so f has to come here if f comes here h would come here so f and h are also marked so in the inner circle we have b f b f d h in the outer field we have c a e g that's it the last point e is facing center has already been used while deciding whether they are facing center or outwards So it's done. It would not take more than three minutes for you to do this whole arrangement, right? And then you get five marks. Look at the questions. Which of the following persons are facing to each other? Who are facing each other? B D no. B C are facing each other. E B no. B C are facing each other. F H F H are not facing each other. F A are facing each other. D E yes. D and E are facing each other. You see D and E. A H also is eliminated, right? So D is the answer. Next, four of the following five are alike in a certain way. 
based from a group based, based on the above arrangement basically which one of the following does not belong to that group so four of the following five are similar so if you have to find out the odd one ef uh, ef okay ch ch da i'm trying to look at the arrangement and find out what is a common feature here fc fc okay bh yeah i think e f c h d a f c are all from different fields b and h are the only guys who are in the same field so b h is the odd one see b and h both are in the inner field but if you see e f e is outer field f is inner field c h c is outer field h is inner field d a d is inner field a is outer field f c f is inner field c is outer field so all these are different fields except b h where both b and h are in the inner field so option 5 is the answer all right and similarly the three four other questions that have been asked can be answered very easily